Knowing where we come from shapes a lot about who we are. It's one of the factors which drove our next guest to begin a journey into her family's past. In Mott Street, a Chinese American family's story of exclusion and homecoming, author Ava Chin traces her family's history through the Chinese Exclusion Act and their epic journey to lay down roots in America. And she joins me now. Thank you so much for being here. It is so great to be here with you. We, you know, we were just talking before the camera started rolling about how this story is not just about your family. I mean, it is, but the book talks about shameful parts of our nation's history that we do need to talk about, a past that many have maybe forgotten, overlooked, not been taught about. The Chinese Exclusion Act, share a little bit about that, if you would. Sure. So the Chinese Exclusion Act laws were our country's first immigration acts, right? It was the first time our uh, borders effectively shut down. Mm -hmm. um, they halted legal Chinese immigration into this country um, and blocked a pathway towards our citizenship for over 60 years. Um, they lasted from 1882 until 1943, um, when during World War II, the U.S. and China were allies. Interesting. And and even before that, when we talk about and we talk about the history of building America's railroads, and That's right. it's just there's so much to unpack here. Uh, you. What inspired you to start looking into your family's history? So I was raised by a single mother, mm -hmm. um, and I yearned for years and years to understand who my father was mm. and um, who this family was that I did not know. I'm also the proud descendant of a Chinese railroad worker um, who helped build the nation's first transcontinental railroad, which united the country after the Civil War. So I was incredibly interested in our stories, and I realized once I started digging around that these stories were just the tip of the iceberg and were largely unknown to most Americans. Yeah. And by the way, aside from just uniting the world, th those who came to work on that are a huge part of the culture, of the heart, of the history of so many parts of this country that go so deep. Was it your intent to tell a broader story through a personal lens, or did that just kind of end up happening as you started writing this? You know, it's a great question. When I first started off, I thought I was just trying to uncover my family's story. Mm -hmm. Right, And then all of a sudden I realized there was a way in which all of my family members were interconnected underneath um, these discriminatory legislation mm -hmm. that was very popular at the time. But also we wound up living in the same tenement apartment building in the heart of New York's Chinatown on Mott Street. And my family members were upstairs, downstairs neighbors from each other. Yeah. They belonged to the same churches. They went to the same schools. They were part of uh, the same uh, Boy Scout troop. Um, and so, so these were, this is actually kind of a history that I wasn't aware of because the split between my parents was so great. By the time I was born, these people just hated each other. Oh. But prior to that, they were part of the same community. Interesting. And so that is why it all starts at Mott Street. Yeah. Tell us about this book. It, you really bring to the forefront the question, who do we think of as American? And is that a question we need to be thinking more about? Absolutely. So the origins of the story go back to when the country was trying to make a decision. Mm -hmm. Who is an American and who is not? Who is one of us and who is not? Yeah. Um, and the decisions that we made back then really set us on a course towards viewing all Asians as being foreign and suspicious. Mm -hmm. But of course, my family and many like mine um, actually have been here since either the gold rush or the completion of the railroad. And part Part of the great, I think, um, the aim of this book um, really is to um, bring Asian Americans into our proper space, into the larger American story. Right. What are, what are you hoping that people walk away from when they read your book? What do you hope they say, all right, I'm glad I read this, it, in, it influenced my life in this way? I think I want folks to really understand um, how Chinese Americans have been here for quite a long time, and the contributions that we've made to the railroad and in other instances um, really have benefited the country. In fact, my family and I went back uh, to California mm -hmm. to see the places where the railroad was built, yep. um, and there are still parts of it that are in use today. Yes. So it's just so exciting and thrilling to know that these were the contributions we made. So you spent some time in Sacramento then? Absolutely, I loved it. It's so amazing to see that, and we forget sometimes how important, that was it. That was it for the country. There was no planes, there were no automobiles, there was just trains, and so truly right, it is right. the fabric of our nation yeah. that was built. 
I'm so thrilled to read this book. Um, I, I'd love to talk to you more about how we need to take this to the next level. Do you have any thoughts of maybe, you know, continuing this, this re well, rhetoric? Well, in fact, um, there is another, I do have, um, another, I'm working on another book after this, but you know, we'll, we'll ha you'll have to wait and see. Okay. Read this one first. <laughs> we will wait and see. Ava, thank you so much for sharing this. It's been an absolute pleasure speaking with you. Don't forget to read Mott Street. Uh, it's out right now.